So here we are in my, my root app, and I'm going to go to my roots. And I'm going to go to here, which is the test route that we did in the last session. If you haven't seen that session, have a look at the link above right now. So here's the route. Now you can call these um, you can call these points whatever you like. They have names. My route have given them names, but I'm just going to call them what I call them. The as I discussed before, the ones with the hands, they're waypoints. They're places that you're going to that the route is going to take you to no matter what. These up upside down pear shaped things, they are root root shaper points. And these are the things, both of these are what we're going to change if we want to in today's route. So let's start off by saying, let's assume now I want to move or I want to start from a different location. Normally, I start off by using a different overlay. I don't like this overlay. You can go to the overlays by coming up to here, top right hand corner. And I like the good old fashioned Google Maps overlay. I think it's got more on it and it's easier to see. It comes by default with the here map, um, the Garmin here map overlay, and we are going to come back to that. But there's a reason for that, and that, and I'll come back to that in a bit. But we are going for now, just in the first draft, we're going to go to the the Google Maps overlay, and we're going to say I want to start from a different location. So I'm just going to zoom in here, scroll down a bit. And let's say I want to move my location to start from, oh, I don't know, somewhere over here, wherever that happens to be. There we go, there. Now let me just scroll, uh, zoom out a bit so that we can have a, a bit of a look at the, the over route of the, of, the, of the map. So these shape points, there are, they seem to be uh, cluttered up in certain places and not in others. That's because when we made the map initially, the My Route app will always try and send you the most efficient and best route and I wanted to go a different way around the route but you might be able to see here there's a bit of a, a mess with this lot there seems to be a bit more going on than we need to have going on it seems to have sent me down the road back up again and back round again so the easy way around that is this I find I've got um, shape route point three so I'm going to come along to here and ask it to show my my my, my points, which is just this arrow by the way, it shows you more or less to the left of the map. So I'm going to go and get rid of point three and let's have a look, no not point three I lie, point four, and let's have a look what happens to the map when I get rid of point four. So get rid of point four, not an awful lot. So now point that there's still a point four because it got rid of the one behind it. So I'm going to get rid of point four again and see what happens. Now that straightened it out a bit, that's better. So I'm going to move this back over here because it gives me a bit of a bigger viewable area to work from, or at least to show you to show you from. I don't normally bother. So let's say now I want to reshape this map and I want to go a I want to make it a different route. Perhaps I want to I want to make it a bit longer and a bit more a bit more scenic. So perhaps I don't know. I'm going to guess here. Perhaps on the way back, I've done this bit of I've ridden this bit here. And I want to uh, I want to bring myself down to whatever bridge that is there. I don't know. It looks like it's a bridge over some water. There you go. And it's moved me. Um, now let's say I've got a bit of a dog leg going on there. So let's say now I don't want to come over back back up this road. Let's say now I want to come back. I want to join up to the. Uh, I'll come back up this road. Looks like it's through the middle of Epping Forest. So I'll come back up that road. I don't really want to go all the way over there and all the way back round there. So I'm going to leave number 10 where it is and I'm going to move number 11 over to Epping, what's that, Epping Upland. I've never been to Epping Upland, but it looks amazing. Oh, well, I don't want to go all the way up there to come all the way back. So I'm going to undo what I did. So to undo what I just did, I can either click on this undo button down here or I can do Command and Z on a Mac or Control and Z on a PC. So I'm going to, for the purpose of for the purpose of demonstration, I'm going to click that and it will undo it. So that I don't want to do. So let's say let's just change that around a bit. I do want to come across this way. I'm going to make it a bit more ziggy zaggy. So I'm going to bring this over to here, and then that's nice. That's nice and ziggy zaggy. And I'm going to bring this over to here, and let's see what that does with our map uh, there. 
and I'm going to take this and pop this over there now watch and that's going to take it over to there so that point 11 is probably irrelevant to go there now so I, if I wanted to I can go away and I can go and get rid of point 11 and that is how we shape our route ready for export exporting the route is an, the next video along so play around with your route if you mess it up you can always start all over again from scratch you can undo as many times and go back as many times as you want it will keep going back for you but what I do want to show you I'm going to redo at those couple of points but I do want to show you before I go any further and before we export remember earlier I said about only using Google Maps for a while we're going to go back to the here the here map default map for a minute and we're going to zoom in on each of these points and we're going to do that to make sure that the, 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 the each of these points are actually on the line sometimes they're not and if they're not by the time you've got it on your device which is a in the next video um, you, you're gonna find that you end up riding up and down roads you don't want to go up and down so you can just click on the first one and uh, click on zoom so we don't really care too much that's probably put me there I could I could move that to the map to there and then I'm gonna click it again and then I'm gonna go on to point number two that's on a line so that's fine then I go to point number three that's on a line so that's fine I already added a picture um, you may have see, seen me do that in the last video point number four that's on a line point number five that's on a line point number six is not on a line Let's just move that, make sure it's smack on the line. This is the difference between the, the, the map overlays. Point number seven, I'll, not quite, so I'm a bit finicky about it. So I prefer it to be on the line. Point number eight, well, that's not where that is. Point number eight's got me in the water somewhere. So let's just close this, get this out of the way and have a look. We don't want to be doing that. So let's put that over to where it should be over to there. Click on it again, zoom it in and then double check it's where it should be it is and then point number 10 again look where that is in the middle of a field somewhere let's go and move that over to the line so it's nice and accurate the last thing you want to be doing is going down some country lane and saying hello to the cows when you didn't actually really intend to do that uh, or even worse still if you're in a city um, then you really don't want to do that although if you're in a city I would suggest uh, that the best in my experience the best um, app to use in, in the city is is in fact um, ways so that's another video altogether now that's got me coming down this road I'm not quite sure what's going on here let's have a look what 12 is doing where I'm going with 12 oh yeah it's fair enough it's going this way I misinterpreted where it was going so I'm going to zoom, go to the next one it was on the right place point number 13 is back to my finish so and if I want to at any point I can just zoom this out and I can just go and place that in the middle. So that's how you shape a route in my route app. And if I want to, I can go and have a look at that as a Google map overlay, or if I want to, I can have a Google satellite uh, view overlay, at which point you can over, you can over, uh, you can zoom in. But what I like, do like about, um, about my route app or the new version of my route app is that if I want to, I can go and have a look at a street view of any of this. And to look at the street view of any of this, all I do is I come along to this little man or woman or metrosexual person, whatever that is there. I think that's supposed to represent the same one that they have on uh, on um, on Google. Excuse my squeak, excuse my squeaky chair. So if I just click that, there. That looks a bit of a mess. But what I can do if I want to, I can come along to I don't know. Let's go to here, and I can click there. And not only does it show me, show me where I am on the map, but it also shows me what the road looks like. And I can actually go down this road and have a look at the road. And if you look down here, it's following the road. How cool is that? That's kind of neat, right? And let's say, okay, well, I don't want to be there. I actually want to go and have a look at the road uh, going the other way. So let's just turn this around just in the same way you would do in Google Maps. You see the arrow on the map itself is changing. Um, and let's say I want to come down to what it looks like going over this bridge. Oh yeah, 
I forgot what that I, I put that down on purpose didn't I so let's come over to here let's go and have a quick look at what it looks like going over the bridge so there we go oh that's the wrong way apologies this is what it looks like going over this particular bit of bridge there's a keep left marker there I can apprise myself of that I can actually go and do the whole of my route if I want to and I have done large sections of route especially if it's a bit of a section of route that I'm, I'm, I, don't, I, I don't understand too well like a big traffic island or a bit in London and I can go and have a look at the whole of my route if I want to and follow it in real time um, like so and then once I've had enough of doing that then I can just click the back arrow there again and I can turn that off and I'm back to my my to my my router um, app. Now I said to you at the start of the video that about the my router app. This is my route app on my Mac using Chrome, Safari, you can use Safari or Firefox, whatever you want, or a PC, whatever you do use it. I must say that as much as I love my route app and I'm a gold member, I find the my route app app on my iPhone to be awful. I just can't do a route, but it's clearly made for people with tiny little fingers. And it just doesn't work very well, and I find it clunky. I don't like it. And why we have to have a separate My Route App navigation app, as well as the My Route App app, and pay extra for that, is actually beyond me. In fact, my 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 route app navigation app is due for renewal soon and i won't be renewing it so i love my route app guys at my route app you're doing a great job but the whole my route app app and the navigation app being separate uh, it, yeah it works but why we should pay separate for it i just don't get it and i certainly won't be doing it or recommending it but i do recommend you get a gold membership which is a lifetime membership to my route app because it is a really easy way to um, create a route. In the next video, I will be creating a, I'll be showing you how to export your route to your device, be that your phone and or your Garmin device. Sorry, that was my breaking news going off on my phone. Um, in fact, I will be doing a demonstration as how to, uh, using the My Route app app, I will be putting the the um the the gpx file onto my onto my zumo xt without having to use any other connecting software cables blah 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 hope you enjoyed it if you did please give me a thumbs up i really would appreciate it and if you don't mind would you please mind would you please subscribe to the channel i don't make my any any money out of this channel whatsoever because i haven't got enough subscribers but if you would like to support me just go to my channel and at the top of the channel where you see a picture of me with my thumb stuck up on my motorbike there is a support um, button and your support would be greatly appreciated until next time look forward to seeing you be ride safely be safe smooth and considerate and i shall see you in the next one bye for now